Hey pin friends and welcome to Ginger Peachy Pins. Um, I am doing something I've never done before. I am unboxing this right here on my sofa <laughs> um, because my desk is kind of a mess and I'm too excited to get into this. Um, so I'm not even going to take the time to go clean off my desk. So this is a different kind of video, but this is from Russ Pins. I've already opened it so I could get my address off and that kind of thing and not show you. He included what it looks like a sticker that I've never seen before, even though I've had a few of his pins. <clears throat> the usual packaging. Ooh, all my other uh, cleaning cloths I've gotten from him have been blue. So a uh, orange one this time and a scrubby brush. Here is the nib and the grip with the uh, converter. And let's get into this. Look, my dog came and he's laying right there playing with his lamb chop. All right, let's see if we can get into this. I might have to like cut. Yeah, hold on. Okay, I've cut open this package. I'm doing this with one hand. Two tubes. No, like an ASMR nail tapping thing, huh? Um, yes, two tubes for one pin. So, let's see if we can do this. I'm not sure I can do this with just one hand. <clears throat> okay, I went ahead and got them out of the tubes. I know you can see my remote for my TV. This is so uh, unlike me. I mean, not that I'm I'm usually messy. It's not that I'm usually tidy, but usually I do this at my desk, you know. So you're about to find out why one pen would come in two tubes. This pen is called a fairy wand. This is made by Rust Pens. And when I saw this, up on his Instagram. I just thought that is the weirdest pen I've ever seen. And I need to hold it. What a weird material. I'm not even sure I would pick this material. It's so strange. And pretty. Like, it is pretty, but it's weird. But can you tell how long <laughs> this pen is? Let me just reach and grab a Twisby Eco for reference. <laughs> there it is. And uncapped, uncapped, here's the difference. Look at these caps. <laughs> Look at this. Isn't this awesome? So, like, the Eco is plenty long enough to use, you know, without posting. But it is postable. And tr personally, I like this. Uh, like back weighted feeling with the cap on the back of the pen. <laughs> Let's see how this is. This is longer than an eco posted. <laughs> it is longer than an eco posted. Sorry. 
put the cap back on that. This is like writing with a brand new number two pencil. Or maybe one of those kid pencils because it's like, you know, fatter than a number two pencil. How cool is this pen? Okay, let's see if it's postable. I know you can see my fingers. Oh, <gasps> y'all. It's postable. It is postable, people. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry I keep putting my fingers in the shot. This pen is postable. <laughs> but unposted, uncapped. It's like a long pencil, like a, I love this. Oh my goodness. It feels really good at first, you know, uh, test. Obviously it's not inked or anything yet. I got a fine nib, surprise. And I just thought this was really special. How fun. He posted another one a couple of days ago that was pink and really pretty and a little bit shorter and like an inch shorter, I wanna say. And um, it looked like the shorter was mostly in the cap because I think the body, the barrel was um, listed as about the same length, but the cap was like an inch shorter. Um, and I missed it. I missed it, and I, you know, I mean, not that I needed to immediately, but um, I just thought if this is really as long as he says it is, I kind of would like a, I don't know, I liked the pink material better, I think, though this is super cool, and I need to look at it in person in a second, not through a camera lens, not a camera lens as if I'm using something fancy, my phone, <laughs> I need to look at it myself and not through the phone, um, Anyway, that pink material was so pretty, but um, I missed it. You know, it wasn't meant to be. I didn't need it. Didn't need to spend the money, you know. But this is so cool. I think I will be keeping an eye out for some of his similar pens like this. This is super awesome. Um, I probably will go ink it in a little while, but um, I'm not. I may not film it. But I just wanted to share this super interesting fairy wand they call it a fairy wand fairy stick pen i'll put it on the screen from russ pens my favorite one of my favorite pen makers for sure i've got about three right now that are like top favorite and currently i'm loving russ pens so much so Go check him out. Um, I saw today that he's taken a little time away um, for some personal reasons, but, um, you know, I don't think it, it didn't sound like it would necessarily be an extended time away. I don't, I don't really know, but um, for sure, go check out his Instagram. Anyway, thank you for hanging with me. I know this is a super weird, like, uh, casual video. Rudy. Rudy. Hey, buddy. <laughs> in my living room but there we go I wanted to share hey guys I'm back in my same spot on my sofa with this fairy stick from uh rust pens um I just wanted to give you a quick update that I am loving this pen this is so weird and so cool um I have inked it with diamine pelham blue so I'll see if I can give you a little swatch here it's a it's like a um medium blue but it's kind of a dusty dustier blue so here we go this is a rust pens no it doesn't want to focus on the right thing <clears throat> and i'm looking at this through my uh, phone not so um, anyway my writing may not be great uh fairy stick I need to ask him what um, what this material is. This with a fine nib, and it is inked with diamine, Pelham blue. I know a lot of people find blue ink boring, but I like blue. <laughs> I like blue. I like I like boring blue. 
like regular blue. <laughs> um, I felt like this was a good match for the blue in this pen. I've got so many pens inked with purple right now. And I've not been very happy with any like of these like reds. I did not want to do a yellow. I did not have to match it to the pen. Like you can catch some little like glitter spots in this. And I know my lighting is not good in here. Like there's just some little like little random glitters. This has reminded me so much of like a piece of quartz. Um, and it's just really pretty and like special. Like when do you get a pen like this? So I just wanted to give you a quick update and tell you I'm really liking this pen. And uh, such a fun one to have in my collection. Um, I came down a little bit from my like disappointment of not getting the, the other one that he listed. Um, this, because I love this one. I really do. And I don't need another one, um, at least for a while. And uh, not until I find a material that I just absolutely cannot live without. So, because this is so, so special. I mean, how cool. How absolutely cool is this? So, here's the cap. Oh, just a second. For whatever reason, this cap does not smooth uh, go on quite as smoothly as a lot of other pens. It's not bad, but I'm kind of just, I don't know, some reason I have a little feeling that I might over-tighten it. Um, but it's not rough. It's just not as smooth as I'm kind of used to. But, I don't know. Anyway, if y'all have seen this material before, um, and know, like, who made it, please let me know, like, what you've seen, what you found out, so that I can go look at it and try to put a name with it. Um, I don't know who made the blank. I don't know what it's called, but I would love to know. So, anyway, thank you for, uh, sticking with me through this crazy video. It's been kind of fun to make a random video. I'm in the same spot, but I've got different stuff. <laughs> Still Rudy's toy on the couch. And he's sitting over here. Woo! -woo. Hey, buddy. So, anyway, here we are. Um, hope you're having a great day, and I um, hope you have a Merry Christmas. Take care. Bye.